Bye to three boys from Monroe Township. Tonight in Batavia, the community held a celebration of life for Clayton Hunter and Chase Dorman. WCPO 9 News anchor Brett Boganski shows you how their coaches want you to honor them. For those who got to know the three little boys, they feel like they may never get over what happened to them. But now they're leaning on one another, and they hope Monday night is just the start of their healing process, and one day they hope they may find closure. Outside of First Baptist Church of Glen Esty in Batavia, people walking in wearing bright colors, just like the family of seven-year-old Clayton, four-year-old Hunter, and three-year-old Chase wanted. I wish that everybody would have had five minutes with them um, just to be able to see how much fun they were. For Clayton's baseball coach, Dwayne Kuhn, Monday's celebration of life for the three boys is remembering the good times and appreciating everything they did for him. There's nothing um, that's ever going to take away the memories that we have of them. There's nothing that's ever going to take away the time that we got to spend with them. And, um, you know, I just, I, I, I cherish every single moment that I was with those boys. Some are remembering them with these t-shirts from the New Richmond Youth Sports Association, where the proceeds raise money for the family. The daughter reached back to us and said, I want to play in the tournament for my brothers. And that just shows you the strength of them, of what the community has done, help them to heal. You can't go back and change the tragedy, but you can help change the narrative moving forward. For Brandon Allen, Hunter's baseball coach, the three boys made him appreciate the simple things about baseball and about life. And being around the four and five year olds um, for this whole summer, you're so thankful to start seeing things from their perspective. And I'll be forever thankful for that. And one of their coaches told me if you want to remember the three boys, he is asking you to post a picture or a video of yourself playing catch. He said post it on social media and use the hashtag play catch for the Dorman boys. In Batavia, Brett Bogansky, WCPO 9 News. The boy's father, Chad Dorman, is in jail, held without bond. Claremont deputies say he confessed to killing his sons, but he pleaded not guilty last week to a 21 count indictment. Dorman's next hearing is set for July 5th. A GoFundMe to help the family now totals more than $268,000.